Hi everyone, this is Yom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student. And so we have started this series on Tecla structures. So in this series, what we are learning? We are learning how you can do the detailing of a G plus one residential building. So for that, first of all, we are learning the commands. And so far we have learned how you can modify the grid lines, how you can model the columns, footings, and all other structural members of a residential building. Then we have learned about the commands like view command and then edit command. And what are the different tools that are embedded in these commands? After that, we have started the reinforcement in footing. So in the last video, we have learned how you can do the reinforcement using the bar. And now in this session, we are going to learn how you will do the reinforcement using the bar group. And in the next one, we will learn about the application and components for the reinforcement in the footing. So let's stick with the bar group in this session. So let's start. So this is where we were in the last session. Now we are going to learn the details in this session. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I will just go for the whole view okay so let's uh, fit to the entire work area in the 3d model also and we will select a particular footing so in the last session we worked on this footing now we are going to provide the reinforcement in this one okay so let's go to view and over here select the work area then to selected parts in all the views and you will see we have just modified the reinforcement over here now i'm just going to elongate it a little bit so you can have a better view now we will go to concrete and there we will learn about the bar groups so you can see you may have over here a rebar set but right now we will work with the rebar only okay so let's pick the bar group over here now as usual, we have to select the footing first, then we have to provide the way where we want to provide the reinforcement. Now we have selected all the parts, so we will hit the scroll button of our mouse and you will see the bar has been created. But this would have worked when we were working on the bar. Okay, but right now we are working with the bar group, so we have to go for a different method. So we will select the first thing in the similar way. Okay, like this one, hit the scroll button and then hit the first and the second point. And you will see now the bars are provided over here. So you can see these are the bars that has been arranged. Let's work in this uh, like view only. Okay. Now, if you want to modify these bars, then what you have to do, you have to simply select this bar and this property box will open up from where you can just change what type of bar you want. You want a normal bar, a tapered bar like this, or you want to go for, like select this one, click on tapered raise and modify. So like this, you can simply select the different types of the bars over here. But right now we are going to work with the normal. Okay, then you can also change the grade of the steel that is being provided over here. So we are going to provide a 500 and you can also change the size of the bar. So let's say we are providing a 20 mm dia bar. Then you can also set the bending radius, but right now I am just going to leave it 40. Then you can also change the class if you want. Now click on modify. And you will see the bar dia has been increased so initially it was 10 so you can just change the, uh, see the difference over here now it is being altered to 20 and this is how this bar dia can be changed now the next thing do you want to have a hook or not so suppose you want to have a hook at 90 degree okay with a radius of 40 mm and a length of 110 mm then you can also provide the hook at the start and if you want to provide a 135 mm degree hook at the end then you can also provide that 
So you can see this is the different types of the patterns that you can provide over here. So this can also be done using the bar, but I'm just using the bar sheet over here and I'm just guiding you how you can make the changes. Okay. Now the next important thing over here is how you want to distribute it. So that is the most important thing. Okay. So you have different distribution patterns over here. So you have to just click over here. So do you want to just distribute it in the equal way, like equal distribution by number of reinforcing bars. So you can just select the number of the bars. Like I want to reduce it, this number to let's say 18 and click on modify. Then you will see 18 numbers of bar has been provided with equal spacing. If I will just make it 10, then you can have a better visualization. So like this, you can just change the numbers. Now, next thing that we have over here is the equal distribution by target spacing value. That means this number will not have any impact, but the target spacing value will decide how much of the bars will be provided. So suppose you are selecting this one. Okay. Then you have to just go with this target spacing value. Suppose I am going for 200 and click on modify. Then you can see all the bars are spaced at 200 over here. And so we are getting 14 numbers of bars. If I'm just making this 100, 100 and click on modify. So you will see that we have 26 number of the bars and these are spaced equally at 100 mm. Now let's uh, keep it 200 over here and click on modify. Now we are going with the next thing over here. So by exact spacing value with flexible first space, that means the first space can be flexible. Over here, you can see all the bars are arranged equally. Okay. But you are providing the flexibility in the first space. Then you can have the exact spacing value over here of 200. And then you can have the flexibility at the first place. Okay. So let's say you are providing it like this. So the initial bar is having the space at 30 mm, like over here, you can see, if you will just zoom, then you can see these are the two bars placed together and they are having the spacing of just 30 mm, but the rest of the bars are provided at 200 mm of the spacing. Now, if you will just reduce the spacing to 150, then you can also find the changes. So see, you have this 16 mm of the bars, 16 number of the one bars spaced at 150 and then finally at 30. Now let's make it 180. That is 180 over here. Let's click on modify. So you can see it has already adjusted the initial spacing to 90 mm over here and the rest are spaced at 180 mm and the bars are 13 in number over here. Okay, so like this, you can simply change the value. Now, the next thing is by exact spacing value with flexible last bar. Now you will have to just focus on the last bar over here. Okay, so let's choose for the last spacing and the same thing will happen, but to the last bar only and not to the first bar. Okay, so you can see the difference over here. The first part is just spaced at 180 mm, but the last part is just spaced at 90 mm. Now, if you want to go for the next option, that is by exact spacing value with flexible middle space, then same thing will happen at the middle. So you can see over here, at the middle, these bars are having the spacing of 90 mm and the initial seven bars are having the spacing of 180 and the last uh, six bars are spaced at 180, but the middle one is just spaced at 90 mm. So like this, you can just go with the different spacing. Now the question is where we can use these things. So I'm just going to guide you also for that. Don't worry about that. In the upcoming classes, we will definitely talk about how these spacing are uh, like uh, coming into use while we are working on a live project. Okay. So don't worry about that. Now, if you want to make the first and the last space flexible, then you can go with this option. Okay. So like this, the first and the last space will be adjusted to 135 and 135 and the rest will be 
spaced at 180 mm okay so like this this can be spaced now the last thing by exact spacing so here this is our exact spacing value which we have provided 180 let's make it 150 for now so here you can see we have the 14 into 150 that means these are having the 14 spaces between them and the total number of bars is 15 over here so like this you can just do the modification and now let's bring it back to the normal that is equal distribution of number of reinforcing bars and click on modify and this will be modified accordingly so this is having a spacing of 173 and you can also do it like this by exact target spacing value so let's uh, place it at 150 over here and click on modify so like this you can simply do the modifications now the next thing over here is the cover thickness okay so you can also decide the cover thickness over here so uh here we have provided a cover thickness of 25 mm on the plane from plane and start and end so i'm not going to discuss each and everything over here if you want to know about this then i have already discussed it in the previous video you can just go and check that out okay i will just give the link by the end of this video so if you haven't watched that then you can also watch that okay next thing over here is you can just change the cover thickness or you can also just make the changes for the leg length suppose i am providing the leg length of 400 over here and also 400 over here now click on modify so you can see leg length has been increased so you can decide either this length by like leg length or by cover length so let's make it uh, 50 of the cover thickness and click on modify or you can do the same for this 25 let's say 25 over here too and do the cover thickness and let's click on modify and it will be back to the normal however for the footing usually the cover thickness is 75 mm so i can also just show it but to go for the details you can just check out the previous session there i have already just explained each and everything in detail okay now you can also include or exclude some things like you can exclude the first last and first and last or you can just exclude none so i'm going for the none over here now just click on modify now the next thing that we can do for the bar reinforcement is using the components so this is our application and components box and over here we can just select what are the different components that can be used for providing the reinforcement in the footing in tecla structures but for that you will have to wait till the next video so we are going to catch up from here in the next video till then you can just keep learning with this and if you want to make your career as a consultant then you can also check out a link in the description where you can watch our free webinar on how you can be a consultant so you have to just watch our free webinar and if you want then you can also book a strategy call with us where we will guide you with each and every detail to grow your business okay so till then take care bye bye